Hello. Hi. Uh, I have uh, two poems for you today, uh, guys, and the second one is a must. But before I do the first one, I just have a question for the audience, for every one of you. But here's the trick. You have to be honest in answering, so no one's going to judge, so just think about it this way. Um, how many of you recently, let's say in the last week or so, have thought to yourself, or maybe quietly thought to yourself, I'm mostly satisfied with my life and, you know, mostly like who I am? That's good, quite a lot of people. Um, the second question is, and again, you know, no one's going to remember who you are, so you could be honest. How many of you, the same thing, maybe in the, like, within a week, have thought quietly to yourself, oh man, I wish I had, you know, what he has or what she has or something com comparing to someone else? Anybody honest? <laughs> Um, well, maybe some of you are too shy to admit, but you know, normally there would be more answers on the second question uh, because I think it's a human nature that we compare ourselves to somebody else. And you know, we think, oh man, he has such a good job. How did he get there? You know? Or how did he get that car? I wish I could afford it. Or how did she get that husband? You know, I want one like that. <laughs> yeah? And there are all these things, but. I suspect that those people that you know you compare yourself to secretly also have some problems in their life that you may not be even aware of and they might actually be thinking oh I wish I were like him or like her in certain respect so we often think of being as someone else and that's the name of this poem someone else I wanted my hair to look like someone else, but that someone else isn't me. I wanted it straight, as the fashion would call, but wearing it straight wasn't me. I wanted to be freaky like someone else, but that someone else isn't me. To be non-traditional, live bohemian style, but living that way wasn't me. I wanted a family like someone else, but that someone else isn't me. More children, more relatives, things that they have, but having all that wasn't me. I wanted to live and be somebody else, but it is so hard to achieve. And then I heard a voice from above telling me, forget it. Don't copy, just live. Like mantra repeated the voice from above. It felt like unconscious mind knew. Be yourself, love yourself, like yourself as you are. You'll be happy if you like real you. And you know, it is so much easier now to be simply me, not like them and to like what I have, all my talents and flaws, and accept myself just as I am. Hmm. I remember I wanted to be someone else, but it's me I forgot to admire. And today I have more and compare much less. I am me. That is all I desire. <laughs> 